Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Bracken. I'm Lindsay and this is Tiny Notes from Home. We hope to challenge, encourage, and inspire you on your journey with Jesus, for he is the way, the truth, and the life. And on our journey this week, what are we up to, Lindsay? On our journey this week, Forrest and I are gonna be in the kitchen showing you how to make some of our favorite fall time treats. While Lindsay and Forrest get some things ready in the kitchen, I have a couple of quick announcements for you. But if you want to jump ahead to the cooking portion of this video, here's the timestamp. The first announcement is from our Pilgrim Road recording studio. We are working together as a family on a new album project for our Sounds Like Rain music channel. This new album is called King Jesus and we will be releasing a new song every few weeks through the fall. So be sure to subscribe to our vlog channel here so you can get behind the scenes updates, as well as our Sounds Like Rain music channel, so you can see the finished product. We know you'll be blessed by it. Also, between now and the end of the year, we are putting a nickel in a jar for every new subscriber. At the end of the year, however much money is that fund, we will split between one random subscriber and a missionary family that we know and love. So you can do your part by helping us get to 200,000 subscribers and also supporting some missionary work in the process. We will have more of Lindsay's Sparrow Song Soap available in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that. And if you entered to win the recording equipment from our giveaway a few weeks ago, we still are going through those entries and we will have a video for you with the winner here in the coming weeks as well. So without further ado, we are gonna jump into the cooking part of the video. I hope you're blessed by it. I'm gonna turn you over to Lindsay and Forrest for the rest of the show. So hey, welcome to the kitchen. Today I'm standing with Forrest, who is our oldest son. He's 12 years old and he really enjoys cooking. So we thought it would be neat for him to show the children and whoever's watching how to make a very simple chia pudding recipe. But before we begin, Forrest, tell us how you got interested in cooking. Um, well, when I was about, uh, maybe about five years old, I made up this recipe. It's not very, um, uh, exact, but it's just a bunch of things written down. Which what is what was this recipe for? Uh, like a banana pear sauce cookie. Okay, so, so did we make these? Uh, I think I, I tried to make them about a month ago. I'm gonna try to adapt the recipe. <laughs> um, There's no amounts on there, no. so you just have to kind of guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Forrest, you've always enjoyed learning new things. Yeah, and it's a way that you can serve our family. It's very helpful and I enjoy eating the things that you make because you're a really good cook. All right, well, why don't we get started on the recipe, and as we go, you can tell us a little bit more about some of the other things you like to make. All right, well, this is a very simple recipe. There's only four ingredients, so it's real easy to follow. Uh, first, we're gonna, we're gonna do five cups of milk. You can use any kind of milk, almond milk, coconut milk. I'm just gonna use some uh, whole milk, uh, cow's milk here, so I'm gonna measure five cups of cow's milk. Next, we're gonna add one cup of chia seeds, and as the chia seeds sit in the milk, they st start to uh, thicken a little bit, and that's what makes the pudding. So I'm gonna add one cup of chia seeds right into the milk. So yeah, chia seeds are really healthy. They have a lot of uh, protein and fiber and omega-3 fatty acids in them, so they're a great addition to anyone's diet, and Nowadays, they're pretty easy to find in stores. So if you've never gotten chia seeds before, I'd recommend that you go out and find some today and try them out in a recipe like this. Uh, next, we're gonna be uh, adding maple syrup. We're gonna do uh, three or four tablespoons, depending on how much you want. So we're just gonna uh, measure this into the, uh, all the other ingredients. 
And you could use a different sweetener if you want to use honey or even stevia or something like that, or you could use sugar. But we like the taste of the maple syrup and it's a healthier sweetener, so that's what we're, we're doing here. Next, we, we're going to add vanilla. This is an optional ingredient. You don't have to add vanilla. We're going to do uh, two teaspoons of vanilla, and it just gives it a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you could add other things like cinnamon or even cocoa powder if you wanted to get more flavors in there. Um, you could get very creative with this recipe, but this is just the, the, basic, mm -hmm. the basic recipe here. All right, so now what? Now we're just going to whisk it up and get it all thoroughly mixed together. No, right now it's just kind of liquidy, but once you put it in the refrigerator in a cool place, the chia seeds kind of start to absorb the milk, and then it start, it thickens and uh, it just turns into a nice, nice chia pudding. So how long does that have to sit? Uh, at least about two hours, it, longer, depending on how thick you want it. You can do it shorter if you want it runnier. Good. You could let it sit overnight too. You could make it the night before and it'll be ready in the morning. This can actually be a good breakfast option, um, chia pudding, because it's, it's healthy and you could mix fruit into it. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and we'll check back on it in just a few hours. All right, while we're waiting on that to finish, why don't we go ahead and make one of our favorite hot drinks? So we thought it would be fun to make a little chai tea to go with our chia pudding. And the chai tea is a little bit of an adaptation of the way we like to make it. And so um, the way we do it is we start out with some milk that we just are gonna heat up on the stove. So we have our milk here and we're going to add some different spices to it. So we'll put one cinnamon stick into it. And we will add about just a few little cloves, not too many, maybe, maybe six cloves. You could add more depending on how strong you like it. And then these are some cardamom seeds. I love the way cardamom smells. I'm gonna add all those. And lastly, I'm going to add some tea bags. Normally chai is made with black tea, but because I like to give it to my children and I don't want them to have caffeine, I like to use rooibos tea. This comes from a South African uh, bush and it's like a red tea, but it's herbal. It has no caffeine in it and it tastes really good. So we're gonna add the tea bags into the milk with all the spices and we're gonna, come, we're gonna go over and put this on the stove and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And then once it's warmed up, we'll give it a little bit of a foam treatment and it'd be ready to drink. So let's go. All right, so our milk is all simmered down with the spices in it. And so I'm going to strain this into a French press carefully. If you don't have a French press, you can just strain it and pour it into the mugs that way. I forgot to tell you that I added some maple syrup to the milk. Um, you could also use honey or something else. And so now with the French press, I'm going to put the top on it and just going to do this foaming like up and down. And it's just going to make the milk kind of frothy. It's going to add some air to it. Do this for just a few more seconds. Okay, now I'm just going to pour it into our little mugs. And it looks nice and foamy and delicious. kind of special when it's foamy. The children really like it that way. All right, so we've got our chai tea done and now we're going to check on the chia pudding and see how that's coming. It's looking really good. Do you think it looks like it's ready? Yeah, I think so. So how do you know that it's done? Um, it's usually pretty thick. It, uh, it doesn't really move around a whole lot when you move the bowl and uh, you can usually just feel it. it yeah, it, it went from very liquidous to now very thick. So that's something you could serve up. And what do you want to do now? Uh, I think we can add some peaches on top. Okay, so let's get those cut up. So when you cook normally, do you have, do you like to have help or do you normally have observers or do you? Yeah, yeah. usually. 
You usually yes. have some. Yeah, Where do your work. observers like to sit? Uh, usually on the counter or right <laughs> behind me or on buckets and stuff. Uh huh. They do. They like, especially if you're making something sweet. They yep. like, and Noah. Noah yep. especially mm -hmm. likes to be very close. He likes to dip his fingers in it and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but you do a really good job being patient and for the most part. It's not always easy. <laughs> All right, so now we've got the peaches almost cut up and we're just gonna mix those into here. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we'll go get the boys and they can be our taste testers and we'll see how they like the pudding and the tea. Mm -hmm. So why don't you go ahead and mix those in. All right, boys, you want to come try this chia pudding? Thanks, Forrest, for walking us through how to make this simple, healthy treat. We hope that you have enjoyed it, and if you've never made chia pudding, now's the time to give it a try. Simple, healthy treats don't have to be complicated. Get the children involved, and everyone will be happy and will enjoy it. And um, thanks for watching. We hope that you've been encouraged today. So until next time. We love you guys. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.